reunion is here. And yes, let's whoop it up for the sleepaway camp reunion. Uh, let's see, let's start with Tom. Tom and Gail. to accept the role. She actually declined several really? times. And he said, I don't want to make this movie without you. Do y'all know the story? No, no, no. no. We're out of the loop on all that. Right. So. <laughs> and then he said, no, I can't make the movie without you. And so she said, fine, I'll do it. And then when they got to set and they put her in that amazing outfit, yeah, yeah. she said, I really don't want to do the part. <laughs> <laughs> and then he kept saying, and it needs to be bigger and bigger and more over the top. And she was terrified. Is it too much? Is it too crazy? So it wasn't her personality. He felt like that character set the tone for the film. And let's say, rest in peace, Desiree Gold, you are yeah. amazing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Stuff I've heard in like that, that of how they achieved the last shot of you. Was that really your face? Or was that a mask? Well, the clothes, so Ed French did make a mask of my oh, face. Oh, Ed French. Ed French, and he, took, he put the mask on a young boy who was 18 years old and he yeah. went to college in the area. We were filming by Albany State and um, they paid him $250 to shave his body and stand with the mask. And he <laughs> drank a bottle of Jack Daniels and cried the whole night. But <laughs> the actual close-ups were my little face and the long shots were the okay. mask with the body. Shaved body. So, but how did they make? Did they do a light cast? They did. They oh, did yeah, the light yeah, cast yeah, yeah. at the light cast. Do we know where yeah, he is now? Yeah, same thing for for my head too. Do you yeah. know where he is now? Yeah. And Kenny. He's the same right thing. there. So, this question is for uh, Felicia. Um, I was just curious. Uh, what were your uh, thoughts and opinions about uh, Pamela Springsteen taking over your role for parts two and three? Well, I love her, and I think she did an incredible job. I read with Michael Simpson, the director, for the sequels, and I sucked. Um, <laughs> basically, they handed me the script, and she was such a funny character, and I was used to the real awkward, shy, quiet girl, and I said, I don't think this is really for me. I think, you know, he loved Pamela at the time, and I was going off to college, so it seemed like a perfect Fit, that he, I would go away and he would continue with her. And I love, we just watched the sequels last week. I, I love them and um, it's, it's just, it, it wound up perfectly. She's fantastic. Yeah. And they, they really kind of changed the character. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 She's yeah. hilarious. Um, you took a, you, but then you took a lot of time off, right? Like, a lot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cause, cause I wanted to grow up. I, I, want, I went back to eighth grade. <laughs> <laughs> life mask, it's true, you had to have it up front. Wait, so you had to do a life mask with your mouth open? Open. That's oh, not open. easy. Oh, Everybody, open your mouth for like an hour. <laughs> <laughs> and then put a, pl a plastic bag over your face. <laughs> That's what it felt like. <laughs> 
Thanks for bringing all these people together. Too. That was amazing.